Hi, my name is Jim Swift. I'm a lifelong Republican from Northern Virginia, but I didn't always live here. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, where in high school I was the president of the St. Ignatius Young Republicans Club. In college, I was the first vice chairman of the St. Louis University College Republicans, and I was the state vice chairman of the Missouri College Republicans. In fact, I dropped out of college for a semester to work on George W. Bush's re-election campaign because I believed so strongly in Republican values. Not a decision I regret. After I graduated from college, I went to work for Senator John Kyle, a Republican from Arizona. I worked on his economic policy team because there was a time when Republicans cared about the deficit, they cared about the debt, and they cared about free trade. That time is not now. After I worked for Senator Kyle, I worked for a congressman from Northern Kentucky named Jeff Davis, where I worked on regulatory policy and tax issues. It's great that we can reduce the regulatory burden for businesses that can set them back. It's nice that we can cut taxes for people, but when we don't offset those with spending cuts and we raise our deficit and we raise our debt, that's not a Republican value. I spent a year of my life on tax reform, and all we did was raise the deficit and raise the debt. Make no mistake, voting for Donald Trump in 2020 is going to set the Republican Party back for an entire generation. I didn't vote for him in 2016. I wrote in my old boss, John Kyle, but we have to be honest about what he's done to pervert our party and its values. And his lack of leadership has set our country back and has set our party back. And if we continue to succumb and bend the knee to Donald Trump and his ways, the country and the Republican Party will be much poorer for it.